Now Google and Facebook are squaring up in a battle over the future of the web. I think that most people see that social networks are going to be a ubiquitous tool. In San Francisco tonight, the world's world, richest 20-something boasted that half a billion people so had used Facebook one day last week. Facebook. Further down the page here, you can see that four of my friends have recently watched um, movies with Johnny Depp in them. Then Mark Zuckerberg explained how he now wanted his site to be a big media player, helping users to share their tastes in music and movies. But then I can just go ahead and click on the link and I can just watch Pirates of the Caribbean right from there. Both new firms like the music service Spotify and old giants like Rupert Murdoch's News Corp are queuing up to work with Facebook. It started as the Facebook back in 2004 and has been through all sorts of different versions to end up looking like this. And each time it's changed, many users have expressed their fierce displeasure. But Facebook feels the need to keep on moving forward, especially when one of its biggest, most powerful neighbours is moving right onto its territory. Google Plus is the latest attempt by the search firm to prove it can beat Facebook at its own game. Features like the Hangout, a kind of instant video conference, have attracted a crowd, albeit quite a geeky one. So, what's at stake here? Where do you spend most of your time on the internet is increasingly where we spend most of our time in our, in our working and, and uh, quite a lot of our, our personal lives. The thing that gets most of our time will win, and, and that's what the battle's for. You just scroll past, rolls up all the stuff from your life. From the meals photos, you've cooked to the places, places you've been, in, right the way back to your birth. Mark Zuckerberg wants you to put your life on his site. Both Facebook and Google know billions are at stake if we can be persuaded to spend our time online with them. There are all the years of my life right here. Rory Kathleen Jones, BBC News.